A three-year-old girl is back home safely with her family. She was in the back seat of a car when it was stolen. People who live in the neighborhood say they didn't know about it until they got an Amber Alert on their phones. I saw the alert on the highway, and then I also got it on my cell phone. That alert came several hours after three-year-old Aubrey de Gefford was abducted from the neighborhood Frank Berger says is usually quiet. We don't really have a lot of problems over here at all. It's a relatively safe neighborhood. Um, we have wonderful neighbors and neighbors who watch out for each other. And um, um, yeah, I, I, was, I was very surprised that it happened. The little girl was in the backseat of an SUV when Milwaukee police say a man stole the car and took off. That was near 49th and Chambers at about 6.15 last night, right across from Wheaton Franciscan. It's close, so close to the hospital. Yeah. That's kind of shocking. Because mm -hmm. the security generally arrives around here. We caught up with parents and grandparents walking their kids to nearby schools. Everybody's talking about the Amber Alert. So we watch our kids closely. Mm -hmm. We watch our kids closely around here. Even though Aubrey is back home and safe, there are still questions about when the Amber Alert was issued. It was sent out to TMJ4 more than three hours after she was taken. Shortly thereafter, she was found in Jefferson County, about 50 miles from the Sherman Park neighborhood she disappeared from. I didn't realize she was found that quickly, but I just knew this morning that she was found. So, yes, that's that's a um, really happy ending. Well, they did, they did uh, end up getting the guy and things of that nature. So that's a good part. Hopefully... Uh, it never happens again. Milwaukee police did take a 32-year-old man into custody at the same location they found Aubrey at. He's also accused of trying to rob another pe person in Brookfield in the car he stole from Sherman Park. Well,